Welcome guys. Uh, today's video we're gonna talk about uh, about uh, using an automatic tail stock uh, within your uh, cycle. I've done this video previously. Um, I'm trying to kind of improve all these videos and make the information a little bit more clear. Uh, I took some pictures. I'm gonna try to add them to this video. Um, and pretty much uh, what I'm doing, and the thing is I'm using the tail stock, is because all I do is, it, the part sticks out uh, technically, I think 12 inches, which is pretty far. So there's no way you can actually turn it without any chatter. There's just not enough uh, rigidity uh, based on the depth. The part is, I think when it comes to diameter, two inches and we cut it down another um, eighth of an inch. So I do face it, I put it in the center, then I do have a automatic tail stock engage. I have a tool that's coming out, does the roughing, passing, and the tail stock is gonna retract. And this is gonna be the cycle. Uh, when you do have a part sticking out that pretty far, uh, use a little bit, uh, uh, smaller cuts so it doesn't put a lot of pressure and also you can slow down your uh, center drill so it's, it actually runs pretty stable uh, this is how the program looks like so we're facing center drill and then we have a manual program now in manual program um, as I'm gonna show you uh, would it, uh, so pretty much you do create a ma manual program and I use that tool as a general out because this is the next tool that's gonna come up. Um, you can do it either the previous tool, so what's gonna happen is uh, the machine will stop um, and pretty much just engage the tail stock or it will rotate to tool 80 and then it's gonna engage the tail stock and this is where that tool is gonna to continue to machine, right? Um, the thing is, if this is what you're gonna do and sometimes uh, if, you, if you're changing tools, uh, if the machine is, uh, turret is actually uh, turning, your RPMs will continue uh, to, so your chucks are still gonna be rotating. So in that, uh, situation you have to put on an MCO to actually stop uh, uh, the part from spinning till the, the tail stack is going to engage. So we're going to talk about this. So you can either use uh, this tool as a, like a, as a tool or you can do a next one which next one is going to be an AED finish. So this is what I did in this, uh, in this case. Uh, change tool I got as a return and these are my codes so M5 it's uh, technically you're telling the machine uh, to stop spindle M7 uh, 32 that's gonna be a tail, tail stock thrust so that means uh, the tail stock will engage and we're also gonna t uh, uh, talk about how to uh, set that up then you have an M741, M741 is a tail stack position 1, M742 uh, is going to be a, a tail stack position 2, so you can set up two positions, and M124, M124 it, that's going to be your barrier, uh, uh, that's going to be your barrier uh, on, and when you use uh, automatic tail stock, the machine is, is going to look for uh, a for barrier, so you have to add, as you see, all these cancels. 
So uh, M23, that's gonna be your off. And M124, uh, it's gonna be on. So you have to cancel barrier in each of the unit that you're gonna be using the manual program for the tail stock. And it's a little bit hustle, but once you once you retreat it, as you see, uh, you don't have to use it anymore. Okay, and so I do have an automatic tail stock. Then I have my OD turning over here. Once this is done, you create another manual program. General out, which is the last tool that I've used. Same thing, return. And again, M5, that's gonna be to stop the spindle. And M32 is to push the spindle back to its home position, so retract. So M732, engage. M32 is retract. Now, if you, uh, so originally the first piece, um, I just go in a, a single, single process. You know, I do rougher, rougher facing, rougher finish, T-drill, then manually, I'm gonna bring the tail stock, I'm gonna have it engage. okay? When it's engaged, you go to your setup uh, position, and then you go here or the tail stock you have options use unuse my uh, most of the time even if i use it manually i just press it on use because i don't want to deal with the uh, barrier canceling but in this instance uh you press use and then you go to your uh, tail stock position one okay you highlight the teach you press enter and uh and this is what uh, this is what's gonna set it up. Now I'm gonna rerun this as a. And uh, when it comes to the speed, how it's gonna retract? It reacts the same way as your tool. Your tools are moving, so technically the rapid will uh, control how fast it will engage and retract. And with these, usually you wanna go pretty fast because if you're gonna keep it at five, at uh, at five percent, it's gonna go pretty slow and i'll do a demonstration so i'm gonna go to zero uh sorry go to number four i'm gonna press ok now i'm gonna press start so we have an 82 and as you see and i'm gonna i'm gonna go and i'm gonna change it change the speed and you'll see how much faster it's gonna go so this is uh 50 percent and it's gonna slow down right before the part. And now it's engaged. Okay, and then automatically the tool will come and start cutting. Now, same thing is like, I'll go to retract, so manual programming, okay. Now I'm pressing the start button. And it's done so the reason why uh, you're gonna teach uh, the tail stack the position is obviously so it's low it slows down before the part and it doesn't crash into the part because it will crash trust me um, so this is uh, like I said I mean I'm gonna take a picture of all the of the M codes and uh, so remember once you are in a setup and you're gonna press that tail stack use okay you will start having a barrier issues each time you're gonna have to add that one two three okay and then once you're gonna be uh once you're gonna use the tail stock in a manual code you're gonna have to put that m24 and uh so when it's engaged you're gonna be good over here and then let's say if you would continue, if you retract the uh, tail stock, then you're gonna have to start putting those one, two, threes again, just because each time the tool is gonna come down, you're gonna get the barrier alarm. So, uh, so that's how you engage it and disengage and disengage it. So technically, uh, yeah, this is a uh, just a crash crash course um, on 
the tail stock and I took pictures already of the end codes um, that I use and I will post them at the end of the video uh, thank you guys and uh, see you next time